on the computer. Hello everybody, welcome to uh, our second edition of True Quantum TV. Now this is um, a very special edition we're gonna be uh, uh, doing here today. Uh, now every anybody who knows the work I do knows that I work with uh, a lot of different energy tools, the, the, the crystalline energy tools. Here's you know one of them I use and then there's the the neutralization rings and, and these are all on my website so anybody who's done a session with me knows how powerful and interesting these things are and they're very very much a very big part of the whole concept of, of healing with energy so so now of course uh, I've, I've done many many podcasts many different radio shows talking about these tools uh, explaining to people how they work and of course the big question is who makes these things <laughs> where do they come from you're not going to find them on no amazon.ca let me tell you boys and girls they're not on ebay they're not on any of these sellout types of, of formats there is a, a person and you can see his his picture here this this fellow him and i have been doing business now we've known each other probably thousands of years but in in this lifetime we've uh, been working together for about a good 10 years and uh, we, we uh, are a very good fit. Uh, there, there's something going on here that, that we're paying attention to. And, and to me, the, the, the tools are a very, very big part of all of this. Um, it's called sacred geometry. The word sacred means connected to the divine, connected to source, if you will. And, and that's where all this really helps out to, to take place. So without any further ado, my special guest tonight is, is the, the founder, the creator, the designer, the builder. He's the main elf in, in the garage who builds these things. Everybody, please welcome to the show. This is Mr. Wayne Gatos. Well, thanks very much for the intro. Uh, it's a privilege to actually be here and be able to express some of my feelings that I've kept to myself for a while because there's been a lot of changes over the years and um, I think right now we're on the threshold of the biggest change of all. Well, and, and that, I, that big change uh, would you consider a, as an ascension? Uh, absolutely. We're, we're rising up. There's no two ways about it. Um, the new system that we have now is definitely the most powerful we can measure it. Uh, I feel the best that I have in a long time. In fact, I've even had moments now where I have reflected back to being in my 20s. And that, that to me is like, my, it, it made my eyes like pop. I go, I remember feeling like that, but that was a long time ago. So how exciting is that? <laughs> Yeah, and, and you know what, and this is something that, that people have been searching for for eons. Uh, the fountain of life, the, 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 the reason for being, all, all of this stuff to make you feel young again, to bring our youth back. Uh, I think people have been paying millions of dollars researching this, trying to find that, that, that right thing, right switch to flip in order, in order to get that. And I think that, I think that you've done it. Well, what the key is, uh, in one of the very first books that I read on, on pyramids, which we're talking probably 35 years ago, um, it was called Pyramid Energy, simple. And in the book, it was a very thick book, and in the book mentioned ad nauseum, almost every page had a re reference to, if you change the energy, then you change the manifestation of the mass. So. I've, I've actually ruled my life and governed my life by that understanding. So if you hurt somewhere or there's something not right, then you need to change the energy of it. And we theoretically, if we can reproduce ourselves every seven years, then why should you even die in the first place? The reason is, is because there's some sort of um, degradation that's going on energetically that we haven't got a handle on yet. Because if you go into the Bible, it refers to people who are several hundred years old. If you go into Egyptology, we're talking thousands of years old. Thoth, example, for example, was uh, they they have records of forty thousand years, and I kept thinking over the years, 
if we can get the right energy combination and then we can make the changes that are required obviously in our dna and uh, then we should be able to last indefinitely now there is one other factor and that we're we're connected to earth so there are some factors there that we have to overcome so it's not quite as simple as it sounds it gets really complex really quick but the bottom line is if you aren't changing your energy you're, you're you're going downhill and it's just when not whether so if we can change the resonance of our field and the electrical of our field the magnetics and electromagnetics of our field those are the four forces and we got to cover them all and also the mental aspect um, and we have higher bodies so we need to get in touch with those and if there's aberrations in the higher blueprints you've got to change the energy there and when you do you can feel the change down here because the third dimension is the mirror for all the other aspects of your beingness so if you're hurting or there's something out out of alignment on 3d it's likely that it's not from 3d it's at the higher levels so what's totally awesome is that we developed a triple pyramid and what the triple pyramid does is it works in this zone on the body in this zone on the mind and this zone is spirit so i further looked into it and i came up with this chart here i'd like to show and as you can see the body is three octaves the mind is three octaves the spirit is three octaves for a total of nine three six nine and we say that there's nine dimensions and then the tenth is basically your your creation so it's blank until you create something so the first nine is really the material manifestation even though your spirit body is very high frequency it's still a material manifestation of, of your beingness and your beingness is governing these three zones so when i show you on the first octave and then the part of you that's earth is the second octave the third octave is the solar system fourth octave is the galaxy all the galaxies or sorry most of the galaxies and all the galaxies so when we go from one zone to the next we find that we have body mind and spirit manifesting nine different octaves how many dimensions are there gazillions mm -hmm. within those ranges but there's three main sets if you will that we can work from so if i'm wanting to clear something that i not happy with i got to find out first well where is it coming from well for sure it's manifesting in my body but it's coming from somewhere else now we all have had lifetimes in in the galactic zones and most of the time we were warriors of some sort so we have scars and battle scars over eons of time that are collected in that bandwidth so a lot of our stuff doesn't come actually from a physical source it comes from those past energies that we have not cleared yet and we keep reliving them and magnetizing the same old story until we change that so with the um with the triple pyramid we can do something as simple as taking the device and aiming it at our feet and doing a sweep up through the auric field and it will clear an amazing amount of stuff in one sweep and because like because that pyramid's programmed within the three levels we don't have to know where it's going it just does it on its own right that's right so instead of trying to tune into the uh higher aspects of our i mean how many people tune into their universal body or their multiverse body well if there's stuff coming from there which there for sure is if you haven't been there then it isn't going to be clear that's for sure but when you take the triple pyramid that works in that bandwidth and we do a sweep it's like sweeping the floor we're getting rid of the clutter and the dust and the garbage 
So the, the triple pyramid does that extremely well. Well, why does it do it? Well, I'm going to do a quick run. It's taken years to put all this together in a nice package where it's functional and practical. So initially we started off with a pyramid and we made pyramids out of brass on the base and copper as the rise on the, on the sides. The reason for that is, is copper is hot, brass is cold. So the two together give you balance. If you make a pyramid out of one or the other, then it's, it's not good for everybody. So then the next step is we put plating on the pyramids. Now you have Wilhelm Reich's orgon effect. And orgon energy, we, if you study Wilhelm Reich at all, you know how therapeutic that is. Then when you put the or, orgon layering of the metals, what we did is we connected with the work of Sir Walter Russell. And what he shows is that there are 64 elements and nine octaves. What a coincidence. <laughs> so each of those elements is within nine octaves. Well, he goes, his, his chart goes linear. In other words, horizontal. And I got from guidance that we should be considering going vertical. Mm -hmm. Well, I know back to this chart here, that's a vertical chart, not a horizontal one. So the horizontal gives me the layout, but this gives me the scope. So in a nutshell, what I did is I tune into my, at first I use zinc. So I tune into my zinc and what I tuned into was the first octave of the zinc in my body. And then I felt, okay, well, how am I going to do the second octave? Well, just to do it simply, if this energy field here is first octave, then the second one is higher. So I put my hand like this and I could feel the zinc on the second octave. If I go again, I can feel it on the third octave. And each time I would do that and go to the next octave, you could feel it was like lifting your head. <laughs> the top of your head would kind of lift. And so I would feel this uplift. And the old saying, as above, so below, is correct. You have zinc on all nine octaves. Well, I wonder what ninth octave zinc downloaded into this body would do. Well, I found out that it wasn't that easy to just do that. You, you have to clear the zinc that's on those levels because it isn't resonating 100% clear. So then I started, okay, well, let's go into the second bandwidth and make it pure. So needless to say, the main operative word is pure. Second one is clear. And the overall underlying power comes from the heart. So your heart generates a magnetic field. So if you want to fix anything in your body, you've got to build the magnetics of that organ that's weak. And your heart is the source of that. So, and that, so before we go any further, I'd like to just do a quick note. There's heart. So when I ask people, okay, put some heart into this, open your heart. What happens is mechanically, an idea of that comes into your third eye and it gets downloaded into your heart and projected. And it comes out as a waveform, which has, has power, has energy, but it, it's not a field. So when I say open heart, and then I say open heart mind, heart mind gives you the next level of heart. It takes you to that next octave. So you can feel there's a the very difference in the field of heart versus heart mind. Well, if there's heart mind and there's second octave, there's got to be lots more. So I start naming them. Well, now we have an effervescent heart. And then we have a plasma heart. And then we have a radioactive heart. And each time we go up, it gets more strong heart feel. So if we can go to a plasma heart or a radioactive heart and download that field into the body's energy field, it's going to be way more powerful uh, healing than if you just say, okay, well, I, I should put some heart into this.
That's mental. <laughs> and that doesn't get you very far. <laughs> It'll help, but it's not, it's not really there. So the first thing is, is to understand that your heart's magnetic field is the main driver. And if you can take a triple pyramid and download that consciousness in there, then that's going to be an awesome, better pyramid. So the Shungite does that. So that's why we put Shungite. Now, the pyramid and the pyramid and the, is, is very masculine. The sphere is feminine. Mm -hmm. The ring, the divinity ring, if you know our product line, we call this the divinity ring. The divinity ring is in every culture. They have a version of this. And we call it the divinity ring because we used it to put, pl we placed it uh, at the ankles so that the crosshairs, this is one ankle bone, that's the other ankle bone. That puts the crosshairs directly in line with your spine. And what would happen is the vortex coming from this, because it's a vortex generator, the vortex coming from this would go up your spine. And when it reached around throat chakra, I'd say, okay, you're feeling it up here. And people go, yeah, yeah, I can really feel it here. And what it did is it connected the chakras to each other. So that's a really good thing because working independently, seven antennas are not the same as seven antennas working coherently. You want them all in alignment. So we, by connecting them, we got the coherence. Once we got to the point, once somebody got to the point of, opening up to about this level and starting in the head area. Then we would take the, a second divinity ring and we would place it above the head and tune it because there's a sweet spot there. And when we did that, it really brought up the last connectors to six and seven. And then what we noticed was that coming off the top of your head and it varies from person to person but most of the time it comes from right there and there's like what looks like a sperm <laughs> it literally looks like a sperm and this thing would come up and wiggle around and shoot up and go into the eighth chakra and i go wow that's amazing because what we've done is we've hardwired we if you know that the, the crown chakra it's the thousand petal lotus, which means it's got a thousand petals coming off the top of your head and they're all in your head until you make a connection to the eighth chakra, which is your Christos field, because we have 12 chakras. So when you make a connection to the eighth chakra, you're in the Christos field. Well, now you're coming from pure heart mind. You're coming from resonance. Okay. And what got you there was the ring. Well, so I did a little work on the ring and why is it so special why does everybody have this well the reason is as I wrote it out here is because there's aspects to these four quadrants and if you program which um, which program you want if you uh, sorry uh, which field you want to use so there's several fields well one of the fields is each quadrant is either air, earth, fire, or water. I don't know if it's sort of holding that properly. So when you take the triple pyramid or a divinity ring on its own, but now I've got a triple pyramid, it's like driving it with a, a, a dragster engine instead of <laughs> a scooter. So when you place it over your solar plexus, and you can feel there's something happening there. The vortex of energy that's there wants to balance those four forces air earth fire and water so you hold it there and you give it that program you just talk to the pyramid because everything is consciousness and awareness so if you put the awareness that you are looking to do balancing of the air earth fire water um, then hold it there and they gradually shift and shift and shift and what you feel is it builds a zero point field there and it may take a minute it may take an hour it every person we got there's no program of how long it takes it's whatever it takes but this instrument helps you get there in a big way
So when you get to the balance spot, what you sense is a zero point field about an inch above your belly button. Well, when you're working from a zero point field, it's like sending out a perfect uh, blueprint without any stuff on it. No interference. No interference. So that, see right there, I've just now zeroed myself. Because we, 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 we're in a lot of stress right now <laughs> for various reasons. So to bring that calm back, how do you do it? Well, when you're centered in your solar plexus, then you're centered. This is not centered. This is centered. So, so let me so, ask, so, so you talk about the pyramid. Just let me interject for a second. What is the difference between the pyramid and, and something like this, the vesica Pisces? Yes. So each one of those builds its own resonant field. So the next, the next one, um that's relevant is electrical magnetic and i use magnetoelectric because english language is reversed a lot of good energy uh so if you say electromagnetic and compare that to magnetoelectric mm -hmm. there's a more balancing effect from magnetoelectric so but they are the same and then resonance so those are the four forces so again, now I can change the program. I tell the, tell the pyramid, the consciousness of the pyramid, we're working on, working on those four forces. And I can feel one of them is off a bit this morning because I've been up since quarter to four <laughs> this morning. <laughs> and uh, so right there, it just zero, went back to zero again. So now I'm more centered there. I'm more I feel more balanced, more calmer again. Okay, so guidance um, has uh, in extended that understanding because I happen to hear somebody talking about time, space, energy, and momentum. And if you're doing a project, anything, like going to get a glass of water, if you don't have the momentum, you just sit there and say, I am thirsty, but I'm not moving so without momentum all the good will will in the world isn't going to take you anywhere so this was critical so i had a couple come over a couple of weeks ago and it took her a while they were doing some they were trying to set up a new website and i says well my sense is that your momentum is lacking so the lady she held it there probably for 20 minutes and then we looked up at each other and we just smiled because we both knew she built the momentum to balance with the other ones. So I'm describing this the other day to a friend, uh, one of my dealers, and um, guidance cuts in and says, we'll give you another one. So I've added that because we had this printed already. <laughs> and the next one is intent, energy, direction, and acceptance. And when I said that out loud to, the, to my connection, she goes, wow, that's powerful. And I says, well, I just did it to myself. I agree. <laughs> okay. So when you put those energies into an amplifier system like this, you're just blasting everything out that's not that. So I'm going to make one statement right now that's probably going to be the most important statement of how to use this because we're gonna give you a number of ways to use it. But the most important thing is, is that you have five senses in the right hand and you have five senses in the left. The, the left is the usual smell, see, hear, taste, touch. The, this, the right hand, is wisdom, intuition, perception, imagination, and reason that's what we're working on once we get these guys settled down so the key being imagination now why do the controllers want you to stop daydreaming and listen to get with the program <laughs> because they don't want you expanding your consciousness and your well-being and you do that very well 
by imagination. So if, for example, my elbow is sore and I focus on it being sore, then it's going to be sore. Mm -hmm. So what's the opposite of that? Well, I can imagine what it would be like to be perfectly in tune with the rest of my body. So that's what I imagine. Now, everything is awareness and consciousness. So the consciousness of the, of the system is now feeling, because it's feeling, it's as much thought, but it's feeling. Feeling has way more power than thought. So bring the feeling of a healthy arm, elbow, not the thought of it. You can do the thought, but it, it's like one out of on a scale of 10. You want to make it feeling is yeah. a half out of 10. Okay. The feeling is all important. So to bring in that back to the pyramid in, in describing what we put in here, this is masculine. These are masculine. This is feminine. This is feminine. What does that bring? It brings the feeling. So now we have a, a system that brings in the feminine balance. So it is now masculine, feminine balanced. And the original prototype that you got didn't have the sphere. No. And I wanted to put this, I wanted to put the sphere in right away, but guidance said, do the pyramid. So I did, but I was still left with the niggle. So finally it worked itself out and we got to the point where uh, a friend actually suggested, well, how come you don't have a sphere in here? And I go, I want a sphere in there. He says, we'll just put it there. And I go, brilliant. So that's how it got there. A little help from my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have the masculine feminine balance that I wanted. And when you take a sphere and put it in there, it, it, it is, is a huge improvement. So we love the upgrade. Now you've got two pieces that you can uh, send your thoughts to and, and feelings and download. And there's, in my opinion, there's no better um, chip, if you will, than shungite. Uh, a quartz crystal doesn't hold a candle, in my opinion, to shungite for programming. And a quartz crystal is great, but shungite's better. So you can, by the way, you can put shungite with quartz crystal. So if you want to add more juice to this, only use clear quartz because the shungite has consciousness enough that if you want if you want this to be amethyst then you just ask it to change to amethyst field and it will do so if you lock it in it will lock in if you don't as soon as you stop using it it won't have amethyst anymore it'll go back to to normal to shungite field everything is intent exactly so now we are light beings i understand <laughs> so some of us we got to have lights so i put some lights in there and it definitely helped and made it better but the lights were not full spectrum okay chris has got his lights on okay. great i've always got my lights on wayne <laughs> he's got his lights on all right <laughs> good fun <laughs> yeah i didn't put them on so you wouldn't have the bright but um obviously full spectrum lights is what we want i didn't didn't get them initially and it made a nice improvement but now we have a fantastic improvement because these are full spectrum lights they actually have four, four generators in them rather than three to make the white they actually have white in it so i've had people go wow is that ever white <laughs> and they're not used to that so they go it's really bright and what i noticed is that when i first started using them i found them to be fairly bright but the more that you resonate with this, the less they have an effect on you because you're resonating to them. Sure. Okay. So if you have an hour session versus a five minute one, five minute one, your lights will still bother you. After like a one or two hour session, you look at it and you go, whatever. <laughs> it's nowhere near as, as hard to, to, to see. So that's basically what we put in here. Oh, I missed the, the um, photon bead. Or okay. be, sorry, it puts out photons. Okay, so the, the, the pyramid puts out tachyons. Is that what this is up here? The beat puts out photons. The shungite puts out negative ions. 
the layered metals and pyramids put out orgon energy. So we've got several energies all combined to one. And I read a couple of years ago, the way that the healing tools of the future are going to be designed is they're going to be designed by combining modalities. And if you're into color, you just, instead of having a full spectrum of, of red, orange, blue, yellow, you can ask the Shungite to be that color and, and ask for it to be the exact frequency that you require. So if you're working on your liver, which really likes yellow, then you place the pyramid there, go to yellow, and you can feel it penetrates different than when you don't add the yellow. And what we do over here is we work with elements, okay? The indium is, is a big one, whatever you need. And we just tell the pyramid to program that and put it in. Yes. So um, I studied a lot, not a lot, but I, I, I've learned a lot. Let's put it that way. I've learned a lot from Wilhelm Reich and for Sir Walter Russell. And Sir Walter Russell says that there's 64 elements and the rest are isotopes. And when you read any of his books, by the time you've read, read three pages, you're probably going to tend to agree with them. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's a genius. <laughs> He's, in my opinion, absolutely in the Tesla League, past the Einstein League. <laughs> and that's the caliber of this individual. And he wrote books in the early 1900s about nuclear energy. Well, most people didn't even know what that was. And he, was, he wrote a book warning about why not to use it. That's where he was at with it. So he understood um, theoretical physics extremely well. And like I say, if you see any literature by him, you're probably burnt out after three pages because there's so much to think about. There's a ton of okay? stuff he does, a ton of stuff. Yeah, so he's an amazing person. So when he says that um, there are 64 elements, and each element has a masculine or feminine principle to it. So let's check that out. So you go to zinc and you feel it. You go to the second, third, fourth, fifth. Yeah, it's male all the way. It's male. So at some point, if you can go up the octaves, and with this, you can. If I ask people to just go to the sixth octave, that's very difficult for a lot of people. If they've never done that before. If you're used to doing energy work, well, then it'll be easier for you. But, and then each element is different. If you try to bop up to the sixth octave of, of carbon, I would, I would like to be there. Because carbon, in my opinion, uh, sorry, I'll backtrack. Each element has a wisdom connected to it. So I start asking guidance, give me some of this information. It's it's like a treasure chest. It's like I've just been delivered this golden treasure chest of, of goodies. And it's for my ascension. It's for my, if you don't want to use that term, it's for my realization. Because we are to become realized. Why are we here? What's number one? Why are we here? Ascend. To become realized. And when you're realized, you can call it ascension, but you're realized that you are on all of these levels. So if you can get some device that helps facilitate connecting to those levels, then it's going to be a big boost to your pro Ascension program. So if you can take, for example, carbon, and then you go to the second octave of carbon, it immediately opened my heart. And I go, well, that's very cool. And you go to the third octave and it opens some more. Well, by the time you get to the sixth octave, it's, it's blasting you. In fact, it's so intense that you're probably only going to stay there for a, uh, a short time the first couple times you get there. And so har, har, the carbon for me was, is the hardest one. All the other ones are much easier. Iron is an easy one. Zinc is an easy one. Calcium is an easy one. Okay, and what are your main mineral building blocks? Sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium. And for females, iron, males, zinc. 
And so in that order, I started doing some work. Well, immediately I realized that if I could resonate zinc at the second octave, so I can put this here and say, let's feel zinc at the second octave. So I'm gonna to tune to it and it's gonna complete the circuit with the pyramid in circuit here and I can feel it coming to me now. So I can, I'm receiving the zinc. Is it pure? Mm, initially, no. So then I have to put pure into the, into the field. I have to put clear, because clear will clear, clear energies. I can put a little bit of magic to the ability that I'm able to do so, because I have to clear whatever's causing that, that negativity, because it's not perfect. Now, here's how you tell when it is. I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm holding this, and I feel zinc at the second level, and as soon as it's pure, I'm now rising up some more and it takes me to the third octave. I don't drive myself there. I, I, I'm on the bus. I'm not driving the bus. I'm, I'm a passenger on the bus. What I'm doing is making sure that it's clear. So when I reach 100% clarity, that's my, that's my signal that I'm good to go and I do go to the next level. If you don't get that, you're not ready to go to the next level. So I would spend 20 minutes, half an hour at a time working on clearing two, three, four octaves of an element. Now, when you get to um, the higher levels, then you start to have a higher level of receptivity and you can say, okay, what is it? Is this masculine or feminine? Well, you find out one or the other. Then, what is the consciousness? Well, if it's cadmium, and I worked on cadmium fairly quickly because welding all these things together gives off cadmium. So I'm very conscious of the fact that I do plating, I do welding, and both of them are really toxic. So if I'm doing that for 35 years, I better keep cleaning my system or I'm not gonna make 35 years. Well, I'm still here and I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> so when I got to the consciousness of cadmium, I go, I know why I really wanted to go to cadmium because who doesn't have this issue? The ability to receive love. That's cadmium. Right. And the higher you go to, to the ninth octave, man, the love just pours on you and you're just going, you're wallowing in it literally. It's just like you're in seventh heaven floating. I'm going to go see my wife and say, I can me you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> right on. <laughs> so, okay, so that gives you an, an understanding of where I've gone with this. And the reason I went there, it seemed like a, maybe a little bit off topic, but it's not because then you'll understand some of the levels that I put into the signatures that went into the Shanghai. So for example, I watched a, sh a program and it, and it talked about how they had just discovered that a supernova exploded in our universe, mm -hmm. or in our galaxy, sorry. Uh, they figure 100 to 200,000 years ago and it spread iron all over creation <laughs> and some of it landed on Earth. And they did some research and they found deposits of it actually it's everywhere so and it's in the form of 60 fe well shungite is c60 which means 60 atoms in a molecule that's designating the number of atoms mm -hmm. but when it's a prefix 60 fe it means that it's an isotope a radioactive isotope of iron well as you go up the totem pole here you'll find that radioactivity is the highest form of dimension the highest form of energy on the third dimension but it's a little off kilter so you use an organ field and a philosopher's stone field if you can got one of those and you, and you direct them at the iron and you transmute it so that it's therapeutic rather than a, a toxin you may have to go i went right to the ninth octave with it 
Then what I did is I, I brought oxygen up to the ninth octave and I, and I merged them. But before I did that, I started at the first octave. So here we have iron, 60 Fe iron and oxygen and I merged them and then I weaved them up to the ninth octave. And then I said, okay, let's come back down now and download into here. So I charge up a glass of water, drink the water, and I go, my oxygenation just went up because I directed the, that to the hemoglobin in my blood. Mm -hmm. Well, we better test this because some hard science is always good. Tuning is one thing, but if I'm wrong, hard science can tell me that. So let's get out the oxygen sensor and see what I'm reading. So I did that after a couple, two and a half hours after treating myself, after working for a couple of hours, and I read 99%. Since I've added some signatures to the triple, and I wake up in the morning and spend an hour or two in its field, directly on the body, um, this morning I checked after doing the stereo event last night, <laughs> listening to it for four hours, I thought it would probably increase my oxygen a bit. So my sensor doesn't show decimal points, it just shows 99%. Hmm. When I did it the first time, I go, well, I would like to know what that decimal point is. And guidance told me it was 0.2. This morning when I woke up, they said it was 99.6, okay? I actually had one event where I ended up in the hospital and uh, I did some magic at that time before I went there. And uh, I went and had the oxygen tested and I asked my son what the number on the, on the monitor was because the nurse looked at it and her jaw dropped and she walked out of the room kind of flabbergasted. So I smiled and I asked my son, what number is on the screen? And he looked over and he says, a hundred. And I says, that's why your jaw dropped. <laughs> well, I know with me, I, I've been using this, holding it to my lungs and my heart. And every day now, I notice that I can do more on my treadmill. It's not as labor intensive as it used to be. It's, and it's, I got one of those Bowflex tread climbers and those things are tough to use. And I'm noticing yeah. every day now, it's, it's better, better, better. It's cumulative. So someone says well how long do i need to use this for well the more you use it the better you're going to be in different areas and everybody's going to have their story right so i had one lady i i, I went and delivered she got a treatment from one of my dealers and she's a dealer as well so she she we we talked and she goes do you have the triple pyramids ready yet and i said yeah actually that's why i'm calling you i do have some she goes bring me two and I says, you want two? And she says, I can't imagine what two of those together is going to be like. <laughs> and I says, well, we're about to find out. <laughs> so I, I, I dropped them off at her place and I handed them to her. And she just looked up at me and said, the clarity is amazing. And I said, yes, it's a serious improvement in clarity. I mean, it improves you in many ways how to how to get a handle on all of them i mean just little idiosyncrasies that you notice that yeah i'm better well what what i've told you is, so, is, that, is that the dowsing that i'm doing has gone up this like from here to here within a matter of, of days yes the yeah. answer is so much clearer i mean i i used to say this with the with the rings and it's true for the rings but it's really true for the triple pyramid you can notice it very quickly and very quickly where the rings i say if you if you haven't noticed anything in a week then the likelihood is that you're you're not very perceptive or that there's a lot of crust to, to break through there and it's just not time yet but one out of three get it right away one out of three have to be directed and then the one out of three need time they will get there and some we've had instances where it's taken a year they've used the rings on their food for a year and finally after that length of time they go i can actually feel this now so everyone's everyone's got their story 
and it will be different. So, but as a generic statement, um, to give you an idea in numbers, uh, a, a neutralization ring and sun ring in a four inch will structure your cells about seven layers deep. That's atomic, subatomic source, and we have 3D here. My understanding is that there's 32 layers in, in between. So that means there's 32 blueprints before we get to the physical body. So what makes you up? A lot, all 32 blueprints. And if there's anything wrong in any one of those blueprints, well, then it's got to affect what you end up with here. Mm -hmm. So the deeper you can go in structuring and bringing sacred geometry to that structuring, heart-mind resonance to that structuring, masculine-feminine balance to that structuring, then the deeper we go, the, the better it is for us and the more therapeutic it becomes. So when... I looked at, into this when I started, a crystal will go three layers of structuring. If it's a really powerful crystal, it might get four, but that's pretty much maxed out. So when you use a sun ring and it goes six or seven layers deep, that's, that's significant. Well, then we got to the nine inch rings and they will go up to 22 layers of structuring. The bio, yeah, the bioenergy field of the food that you that you charge with the four inch rings neutralization and sun you'll get a bioenergy field of about seven to twelve feet if you use the nine inch rings you're looking at about 20 feet even a little more but with this guy we're talking 68 feet when i ask guidance how big is the field of the plate that I just charged and I'm going to eat when I first did it, how big is this field? And the answer was 68 feet. So that'll give you an idea of, of comparing what we have had to work with and what we have now. It's a, it's, it's a couple of octaves in, in intensity, higher and better. Which in most cases, that's where you need to be is you need to go to that, that length to, in order to get to that. Uh, you need those tools to get to that level yes yeah so if you can eat food that's got a bioenergy field of 68 feet well what's that going to do well let's find out so let's try something <laughs> so let's structure in for example collagen well who needs collagen well if you want to maintain uh, elasticity in your whole body you need collagen so as we get older in males, prostates become an issue. Well, why does a prostate get hard and lose it, it, its flexibility? And therefore, it's hard to get through and then you got pain. Collagen. So when I asked guides, is that the main factor? And they said, yeah, it's the main, not the only, but it's the main factor. So if you can reverse your collagen quotient, then you're going to reverse your, your prostate issue. Well, let's find out because I'm there. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so I delivered through the system pure collagen consciousness. And it took about three days. And I, I feel I dropped about 50% in my pain level because I was getting pain. Now, I still have some pain, but it's, it's more intermittent and way, way less. So, and the more I use this, the more I can feel that when I tune into my prostate now, it's becoming flexible. Now, it's taken a month to get where I am, but it took me 70 years to get where I am as well, <laughs> on the other side of the scale. So, usually the, the ratio is about one to eight. So, if you took eight years of going downhill, it's going to take you a year to come back. Which is pretty darn good. That's old, that's old school thinking. With the, with the triple pyramid set up the way it is and your heart mind driving it, it's way faster than that. Can be so immediate. don't think in the, it's going to be way faster. So, because I can download oxygen, FE, uh, 60 FE, and I can feel the oxygenation in my body like right now. 
one glass of water will do it. I like to do tests on people and give them one sip of water and watch their response. And they, the, the most common words are, this is, a, this is the most amazing device I've ever seen. Okay, so one lady says, this has got the power of a supernova. So her husband, her, her, her guy called me up and said, my, my lady thinks, my lady friend thinks that you are working with a supernova for power. And I said, well, she's right on the beam. I downloaded the uh, supernova iron that's on earth. I downloaded that consciousness into the system. So she's out there, obviously, to be able to even sense that. Well, this kind of put her right there, and she goes, I know where I'm at. So she understood the process. So she was extremely impressed. She goes, this thing is amazing, powerful. And so that thing is amazing is the most common phrase that I've heard so far. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> yeah, and that's what many have said. So uh, one other thing before I forget that we also put in the triple pyramid system is because the lights require a transformer, we put in an ENF, EMF harmonizer uh, biofield enhancer into the system. Okay. That's a little sticker so, on the black box. On the black box. Yeah. So what would normally give you a little bit of 60 hertz nastiness, that's been dealt with. And we use the Tesla principle where instead of having to nullify something, we take it and raise its frequency. Just like, for example, arsenic. If I said to you, download some arsenic, you're going to go, huh? <laughs> and then I go, well, if you download regular arsenic, then that's not good. If you get a very, very tiny amount, it is good, like in almonds, it will help your immune system. That's what Edgar Casey said, okay? But if you take that arsenic to the ninth octave, or even past four, most things start really working at the fourth octave. Third, not so much, but when you get to fourth octave, fifth octave, and especially sixth octave, now it's for sure in your favor. So I felt my immune system vitality, and then I downloaded ninth octave arsenic. And I went, wow, this is seriously good. I could just feel the viruses and bacteria like run for cover <laughs> because that frequency is like um, TNT to them. All right. So what seems to be against you, arsenic, becomes your friend. And the same thing with cyanide, same thing with a lot of things that you would think are toxic. So, and the most, this, again, back to reiterate, the special ones are the radioactive ones. And if you combine, so example, um, calcium. If you can tune in to the calcium knit in my bones this morning, because it's better than it was yesterday because of the four hours of listening to my stereo system last night. Because I, I put two triple pyramids on my amplifiers, one in the front and one in the back, and I hadn't done that before, and it was a whole new experience. If you're an audiophile, you would be seriously impressed. In fact, you wouldn't believe unless you heard my system. It is like I had an engineer come over and he said, I just heard recently a $60,000 system. I like yours better. Well, I've made several upgrades since then and putting two triples was a massive upgrade. So he isn't gonna recognize my system the next time he comes here. And he was already comparing it to 60, 60K. So now, that's now, the league that my stereo's in now. That's interesting. Both you and I are considered audiophiles. I, mm -hmm. I, I design and build my own speakers. You've made many, many changes and, and uh, upgrades and customizations to your system. And, and music, my speakers are homemade too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we use the same type of tweeters, which is like, wow, how'd that happen? How'd that happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you ordered, I, I just phoned up the, my uh, fellow that I connected with in Montreal and said, um, uh, what are your best tweeters? <laughs> and he said, the Scansby. And so I said, I'll have a pair. 
Yeah, there I've got a small tube amp that I bought off the internet, and I'm programming those tubes with different things and getting different results out of, out of the sound, and it's it's fun. So, so a lot of people will, will go and spend a hundred thousand dollars. I, I spent thirteen hundred dollars on my speaker wire, the flat copper Gertz stuff, and the simple sometimes the simple things is, is what makes the biggest difference. So that using this geometry with it really changes the waveform of the music coming out. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, what I also discovered that we could even address right now is the Divinity Ring does a lot of neat things. So initially what I did is I took a speaker wire, did a one, one single wrap, and I put a sun ring on it, hooked it up. Yeah, it's definitely better. In fact, you could compare the left channel to the right channel, and the side that had it on was obviously better. Then the next event was putting a platinum sun ring on one side of the cable and a gold sun ring on the other. That was another improvement. Then I got the next upgrade was putting the, the platinum uh, with the sun, the, with the gold one driving it, then the cable, then the, then the divinity ring. Well, when I heard that on one cable, I did all the other seven. <laughs> so it's on the power line and everything. So all of that made it a, a, a really good improvement in the sound. So you might want to go there. Lots of playing, lots of playing to do. I got a, I got a whole garage full of two, your tools we can pull out and start having some fun with. All right. Okay, what I'd like to do next is talk about some of the benefits of all the different places, not benefits, sorry, but all the different places that you can use the triple system on. So I did a, a quick cheat sheet here and obviously your food, getting 60 some feet out of your food for bioenergy is gonna change your life. Like in one meal, if you're even remotely sensitive, eating one meal with the triple, I mean, the, 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 the sun ring and neutralization ring, they're good, but this is fantastic. It's a way different experience. Secondly, you can work it directly on the body. So if I have my, a sore arm, I can work directly by aiming it at the arm for as long as it takes. And the other day I had a searing pain from grinding for a, a couple, three hours. And it's like I pulled some muscles in my rotator cuff and I go, that's not good. I could be not working for a day or two. So I went in right away and I put the pyramid on there and in 20 minutes the searing was gone. And I could move it and make it hurt a little bit, but th the searing, and if I didn't do that, it was fine. 20 minutes. That's nice, because it was not pleasant. So then what we can do is we can use the triple to get way more mileage out of our supplements, because if you take I got some propolis here. If you can take your supplement after you've neutralized it and charged it on a sun ring, then you put it here, charge it here. And if you put it here and download into your food or glass of water, that's one resonant field. If you change and put it here, that's the next oct three octaves. And obviously that's the final three octaves. Well, that's three bandwidths of charge of B propolis. So it operates as above, so below. Mm -hmm. So it's now giving me sustenance on all three of the, uh, on all nine octaves, all three zones. You go and you taste the food compared to not having this in here, and you can taste the difference just by putting one thing in. Now, needless to say, the more you do this, your deficiency of whatever propolis is giving you is going to be gone real, real quickly. And the proof of that is for me is my experience is that when I put in the supplements in the smoothie first thing in the morning for, for breakfast, that smoothie generally took 15, 20 things in the morning to, as supplementation. As I've been using this and charging those supplements in, I'm assimilating for sure better. 
And so now I notice that I'm down to like five or six supplements in the morning instead of 15 or 20. I have about a hundred choices. <laughs> and that's not going, aren't so, you? Yeah, so I like to cover all the bases. So if I need something, I've probably got, you got it. You, you got a drugstore. Yeah. Okay. So now, um, cosmetics and um, facial creams and such, they all have their downside. If you can spin those babies up to a much higher frequency, then I want to make this clear. It does not neutralize the toxin. If you have cadmium, you still have 100% cadmium there. But now the cadmium is at this octave of resonance instead of here. Here it's toxic. Here it's so highly charged, it goes out of the body and the body says, I, don't, I recognize it for one thing, because it has the organic spin, which this gives, all the devices do. Mm -hmm. So when you've got the organic spin, the body recognizes it as something that it doesn't want and it goes out and it has the energy to do so. Just a, a little side event is when your body has more energy, the first thing it does generally is detoxify. So if I give your body a little bit more energy than it has, you'll have a little more energy for, for movement. But if I give you a little bit more than that, your body's going to go into detox mode. So if you do a long session with this, like I did last night on my stereo, you'll go and in the evening, your urine is generally pretty clear. Mine is. It's very clear. It wasn't last night with four hours of stereo time. It was very yellow. And I just looked and laughed. And I go, no surprise. And I feel purified to my bone this morning. In fact, uh, earlier I said, tune into my calcium knit. I feel like I'm solid as a rock. And I tune into when I was like in my 20s, because that's, I'd like to be back there like everybody else. And if, if you feel, tune into this, if you will, here's my bones at 20, and here's my bones today. Which one would you prefer? 20. <laughs> So I'm at re resonating a stronger bone signal than when I was in my 20s. Yeah, that was my conclusion. So supplements, creams, oils, essential oils, essential oils. I love them. I got about 100 of those as well <laughs> and use them a lot. So when you, when I, I'm used to using them for years, so I know what they're like, what they do. And when you charge your bottle of oil up or your blend, it's, it's a way different event. Um, if you just plug in your triple and you're not using it directly or you're charging your food, don't just unplug it and stick it in the corner. If you put it on its side and put it in a corner of the room, plug it in and it will fill the room with ionization. And I did one store and they were like 40 feet from one wall to the other. And you could go stand on the opposite wall and feel all the ions just blasting at you. And the whole air was pure and clean. The viruses are being killed. <laughs> okay, like I said, one friend came over and said, are you concerned about the virus? And so I had charged a piece of shungite with, a lot of frequencies and I put it on the table and said if you were a virus what would you do and she jumped out of her chair <laughs> and I said that's what I thought <laughs> okay now if you um, water your plants obviously charging the water is a good thing and we have a cactus that's in our kitchen where we just leave it on all day and it happens to be aimed at the cactus well that cactus was going brown it was getting spots on it it lost it had the little leaves on the side it dropped all those then i brought this out and it's now and if it uh, um it's like a weed it, officially i would call it a weed not a slow growing cactus because i'll put it beside the weeds in my garden and this thing's probably growing faster it is amazing to see that plant how much it's grown how many new shoots it's got 
and all, it's just loaded with, with those little leaves now. So it's a black and white scenario for the plants. So and it's, and it's measurable. Plant, you can see it right in front of your eyes. You can take a plant that hasn't received this energy and just put the pyramid on its side, aim it at it, and just wait. And in one or two minutes, if you're sensitive, you're going to go, that plant just loves this. And go, yes, it does. Okay. So plants are great. Um, audio system. Um, I'll just give you a quick peek of mine. Now oh, this is an amazing system. You got a full granite uh, uh, stereo stand that you built custom, right? Yeah, from from pieces. Okay, but that gives you an idea. There's uh, about twenty different rings and pieces. I think twenty-seven. I counted. So, so that will basically take the sound stage and bring it right forward, now, won't it? Um, what it what it does every time you add a device. Well, people say, well, what what do they do? They'll come over and listen to it and say, well, that sounds really good. What's doing what? Well, I'll just go over and take one piece off, and they'll go, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you pull the plug out of the triple pyramid and shut the lights off, the whole field collapses. It's black and white. As soon as you instantly put it on, it's right back again. But what's also interesting is that when you're doing some experimenting, if you uh, put a triple pyramid in front like you saw, it will take two or three tracks to build up where it's kind of settled in and it keeps improving over the, that time. Okay. And then you come back tomorrow, and if you leave it all set up, you come back tomorrow and the first track is going to be better than what you just heard today. Okay, so it takes a couple or three days actually to fully charge the system. So if you remove a piece, it's, if you want it back to where it was, it takes a couple or three days, okay, to fully charge. I noticed last night when I put the second triple pyramid, it took probably about two hours and then all of a sudden it just kicked in another octave and it was there and I could feel it was, a, it was like, okay, did another tweak. <laughs> And I didn't. It just it just managed to download better. Yeah. Um, the next thing on my list here is sound therapy. Okay. Because okay. that's how I um, did my knit of my calcium and my bones. It's programmed in the system. All I had to do was spend the time and double your pleasure. I had two triple systems. So it did another level of knitting the calcium in my bones. So today I feel like a rock, literally. I mean, I did before, but now I feel like that even more so. Yeah. So now another thing you can do with it is you can do sweeps. So you, I think I mentioned that earlier is you just sweep through the field. Now to continue that a little further, if I do one sweep up starting what I do is I aim it at the feet first and I place it at that angle. So my feet are here. So I'm basically aiming about a foot below the feet. It's like your zero chakra position. And most people, when you're emotionally distressed, and right now a lot of people seem to have a reason to be, so we could use a little help there. Well, when you take any pyramid and you place it there, it will help draw your zero chakra back to its position. Because if you're very emotionally stressed, it's not even there. I asked one lady, I said, do you know where your zero chakra? And she says, I, I think I know what you mean. I says, can you tell where it is? She goes, over there. <laughs> I said, yeah, it's about 35 feet away from you. She goes, well, I have three kids and they're driving me nuts. And I said, well, let's see if we can fix that, okay? <laughs> so I gave her a quick treatment. And what I did is I just put the place the pyramid before her feet and I wait, wait. And I just stand there and watch. And after about 30 seconds, I go, how grounded are you? She goes, very. And I says, and after about a minute, I says, does it feel like somebody nailed your feet to the floor? She goes, exactly. Okay. 
And I make the statement, you don't know what grounded is until you've had this experience. Okay, so once you're grounded, your zero chakra is where it belongs, then you can start, go, and you go square to the body. Okay, about six inches away is good because you're in the first zone of your layered chakra field, auric field. So <clears throat> you start at your feet and you go up slowly and you finish off to the right about a foot over the head. And you go back, and you do it again, a little bit faster, and you go to the left. And then you do it the third time, and you go straight up, okay? And those three sweeps, you do the front, you do the back, obviously you're not doing it. <laughs> you have a partner. <laughs> so you have them do the sweep the back, and then you go from the side, and you do a zigzag, just like this, all the way up the side, on, on either side. And then if you're tuned, you're, you'll feel or see that you are now in an egg-shaped auric field. And it's way clearer, and it can improve six times virtually. If you do that full, full meal deal um, sweep, you will be at least six times bigger auric field. The likelihood is you'll be about 12 times bigger than you started. And you can pick any layer, measure it to start with. So let's say you pick this layer here. Okay, you've measured that. That's your, the edge of that zone. Now do the treatment and you're going to be like several feet over there for that same zone. Okay. Um, how far does the pyramid project without anything in it? I measured it at 62 feet. That's just a bare frame. I haven't measured this. I haven't gone there yet. And um, <clears throat> we're talking a very large field. So if you hold this up like that, aim it into a large room, it's going to fill a large room. And disperse, keep dispersing. It's that You have uh, the lampshade effect, it's called. Hmm. So it goes out the same angle as the pyramids are angled. Okay, so it'll cover a lot of area. So if you're in a greenhouse, you can hang this really high and cover a lot of area. Yeah. This is one uh, awesome looking patio lantern now, isn't it, Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's all great. What does it do? Well, I got a sheet here of my experiences and I've sold over a couple of dozen of them so I've got some good feedback but it's not like we've got hundreds of people so I'm gonna kind of give you what I've felt rather than saying that I've done a study but I've been doing this for 35 years and I've sold thousands of pyramids literally over the years so um, it's we have an idea of what the past is like so these are some of the things I'm going to say that I experienced, and it's partially because of what everyone that's going out the door is downloaded with. So if I make a claim here that they did this, that's already downloaded in there. You don't have to figure out how to do that yourself. So you can expect to a degree what I have experienced. It may not be the same degree, mm -hmm. maybe more or less, because we're all different. Everybody's chemistry is different. So right there, we can't be the same. So obviously, if you open your heart mind, that's one thing. If you slap this over your heart mind, <laughs> your heart, and focus on heart mind, it, you can just feel your emanation, right? I mean, you can feel me better, can you not? Oh, yes. <laughs> when I put this here? All right. So, and, and again, if you, the heart mind is critical to healing because it needs that um, feminine field balance to achieve he, being healed. Being battered around in the masculine side isn't going to get you there. No, no, Even no. though you may be powerful, but it, it, it's not going to work. The same as if you're receiving from the nurturing of the, of the feminine. 
one thing I learned about recently was when your heart pumps, it sends a wave and it goes down your arteries and it splits into two arteries to go down your legs. And where it splits, there's an actual echo wave front that happens and it comes back to the heart. So when the heart has to do the second pump, it's got this interference wave to deal with. So I go, well, when I learned that, I go, well, we can fix that energetically. Let's put in a frequency to negate that echo, the bifractional echo. So I did that. And then as soon as I did, like instantly, I could feel my heart relax. The next pump for sure was easier than the previous pumps were, were, were major change. So I, that's in there. And when we did that with Heather, she gets attacked by high dark a lot. And so it races her heart. So sometimes her heart numbers are just crazy out of whack. So I gave her a treatment with that and she went, 120 over 81 bang with a pulse of 67 instead of 80s and 90s so we couldn't be more pleased for what that particular signature did for heather there's certainly because, proof in that pudding though isn't it oh yeah because she's never got those numbers like she's always crazy like uh, I won't go in, get into it, but those are so, that's normal numbers, and we never get normal numbers <laughs> up until that point. Virtually never. Um, so my blood oxygen uh, is on here. I tested it at 99. I'm tuned enough to know that I can tune in myself, and I know when I'm low. And uh, since I've been doing this, I've, I've, been, I've been high. I've been, I've been at the 99 or better level. Um, collagen we discussed a bit but I can feel the elasticity in my body not only that um, when I do a, a sound treatment or I'm doing my hour in the morning or two hours because one of the things that I've noticed one of the profound things that I've noticed is that um, said guru the eastern mystics they say that you all got to eat that fresh food well, that's not always easy to do. And if you could live on a farm and they grew all your own food, that'd be the utopian condition, but we don't generally have that opportunity. So to enhance the food is a big thing. And what they're saying, what Sadhguru says, he used to sleep three, four hours a night. Now he's getting a little older and lazier, he says, so he sleeps four or five. But that's the number of hours he sleeps. And I go, I like my eight hours that's where i come from and i'm not a morning person so don't even talk to me until noon that's generally my that's how i've been well here's how i am now i was up at quarter to four this morning wide awake and in the last couple of weeks most of the mornings i've been awake and i mean wide awake and alert at five o'clock that's bizarre to me. <laughs> well, that's one thing I'm noticing too, is, is that my sleep is, I, I try as hard as I can to sleep as long as I can, but it ain't happening anymore. It's not happening. You just don't need it. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm getting up, giving myself a treatment and then doing my breathing and I'm out of bed by eight o'clock. And when I get out of bed, what's so different, instead of kind of like plowing up and going to the bathroom, I bounce out of bed I do a couple of quick stretches and I and I float to the kitchen. Like I'm bounding to the kitchen. Like that is not me in the morning for sure. My whole life I've been like that. Until now. Even with the rings, I would I, there would be less, but I would still be like that basically. Now I'm not like that at all. I mean, you can see my energy right now. Normally at uh, later in the afternoon, I start to peter out, even if I got my eight hours of sleep. I mean, I just start dropping off at four o'clock. Well, with this, um, when I first started using this, that's when I got the granite. And I went to pick up the granite and I pulled the pallet apart, 
went through a second pallet and the guy who, who was the manager there, he's Vietnamese, he comes out and he goes, why are you not tired? You should be tired. How come you're not tired? And I says, well, I want to, I'm going to hurry. I want to get home before traffic starts because it's getting before o'clock now. And he's on my case because I just didn't quit. <laughs> and you're 98 pounds. My, exactly. I'm like just over 100 pounds. Well, I'm carrying 50, 60, 70 pound slabs of, of granite, shuffling them around, making them fit so that the pallet's nice and neat so it looked like a you know, it looks uh, presentable for when I leave because the stuff's free. I'm not going to leave a mess. So the guy, but he wasn't concerned about, I kept saying, I'm going to do a good job of cleaning up. He wasn't concerned about that at all. He was flabbergasted that I was still there all afternoon doing that. And he watched me. I could see him watching me and I don't quit. I stop and have a shot of water and keep on going. And he was just astounded at that. So then I come home and some evenings I'm, I'm moving the granite around. I work till like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Like I start at 8 and I'm going till 9 o'clock. I'm, I'm, I'm packing it in because it's getting dark. <laughs> so that's amazing stamina for that kind of work. And my physique, I'm small and slight, but my muscle tone is like way better. I helped build a house in my 20s. That's what it reminded me of. I look and I go, that's the 20 year old body I used to have. So I thought that was impressive. <laughs> no doubt. Now, an another thing that I put in there is there's research on NAD. Most people know what that is, look it up. And there's NMN and there's niacin. And what those do is they trigger the, the telomeres and as the telomeres get older then the genetics don't work so well so if you can rebuild the telomeres back up so let's do that so i combined the energies of those three and then i directed them at the telomeres and if you feel my telomeres they're like on speed right now <laughs> that's what it feels like in my body i, I, I see a bit of a plasma telomeres. field of like a plasma ball it, Exactly. They feel like they're on plasma. And that's your plasma heart field. So I feel like I'm in my own heart field now. I don't have to go looking for one. <laughs> so do I feel nurtured? Very much so. At the DNA level. Another big bonus. Another aspect is your chakras all connect to an endocrine gland, which are antennas. Your chakras and antenna. The gland is an antenna and, and they each have their own bandwidth of consciousness. Well, if they're not working together, then the system doesn't function as well. So what I did is I put a, a waveform in there and a, a consciousness, same, and connected them to each other so they would work as a whole. So there's a harmonic, there's a literal harmonic for the endocrine system. And you just, I don't know how to explain it, other than I feel better. <laughs> I feel more complete is a, probably a good way of putting it. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um, if you want to boost your immune system, here's my tricks <laughs> uh, or methods, not tricks. Magic more than tricks. <laughs> um, silver, colloidal silver, for example. But colloidal silver is to me way overrated. You want to go to nano silver and you want to bring that silver to at least the fourth octave. Now you got something that rocks. Okay. So I put in nano silver and oxygen and direct that to your immune system. Add some uh, um, arsenic at the at least six octave and add that. And you can see your, your immune system, if you've got a meter on it, you can just see the, the needle going up like this as you assimilate that. If you put that into one meal, at the end of the meal, you'll, if you douse, you'll see your immune system went up. And I had my immune system tested years ago, and it came out at 41,000 on this guy's scale. I said, well, what's the normal person? And he goes, eight to 10, because his jaw was dropped. And I says, well, he goes, you're 41,000. And I go, is that a problem? And he goes, well, I said, what's the average? He goes, eight to 10. 
most people are under 10. Like very few are over 10. And I'm at 41. So once I did this, um, these downloads, I went, I, a few days ago, I asked, well, what is my immune system on that scale? What would it be now? Well, what is it now? And guidance said it was 69,000. Okay. So if the norm is eight to eight, eight to 10, I'm at least seven times normal for immunity. Gives you confidence. You, you don't need a vaccination now, do you? No, or the chip. <laughs> <laughs> no chipping. <laughs> okay, now there's another aspect here that most people probably haven't given much thought to, is if you look at your neurons in your brain, you take a picture of them, and you see that they're all connected to each other through a network, the neural network, okay? If you go and you take a picture of our galaxy and you use, I believe it's uh, a radio telescope, you will see the identical net. Yes. All of the stars are connected to each other with that net. Okay. Now, if, if, that, if that's galactic, then in order for you to get more conscious of that galactic bandwidth, a good way to do that would be to connect these the three nets so if this is up in spirit then here's the mind so this is my neural net so there's one above and there's one below that's the mind or the man being the mediator the neural net that's in the earth is the mycelium network from the mushrooms so i put that awareness into my own neural net along with the galactic neural net and merge them all together in a harmony, in a harmonic. So I put that harmonic in there. What does it do? It connects you to your higher self. <laughs> there you go. In a very, oh, we're all looking for right? In a kinetic way. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that's in there is mercury is one of those things that we all know is a poison at a lower level. But if you understand transmutation of, of elements, Mercury is instrumental in that. So if we can transmute the mercury to a higher octave of resonance, then it will facilitate transmuting the alchemical process of becoming uh, aware beings in our own, our own bodies. So the mercury has is, is also been dealt with. Now, there's the basic principles of growing and expansion in, in creation. And on earth, we had what was called the tree of life. And it was a tree that grew roots and went literally miles into the sky up, is what the, what the texts say. Okay, so obviously it had the energy of creation welling up at the root level. So if we can download that, and we actually carry a Shungite sphere, and it's got stamped on or etched on it, the tree of life. So I tuned into the actual awareness, consciousness of the original tree of life, downloaded that into that pendant. And I go, well, why don't I put that into the triple pyramid in the Shanga? So I did. So it's got the tree of life. It's got the flower of life. And it's got the elixir of life. You go into Greek mythology. Ambrosia. Of ambrosia. Yeah. Well, what's that? I go, well, let's find out. Let's go tune into ambrosia. And it's supposed to be based on orange juice. So, yeah, that seems to check. So let's put in their version of orange juice, not what we have from the fridge, the orange juice. And then it sent, I sense that the second element, because there, there was three elements, the second element was monoatomic gold. So I brought that in. And monoatomics, by the way, go to the sixth octave. So if you take monoatomic gold and you compare it to the seventh octave of gold, it's higher, the mm -hmm. seventh. Okay. Uh, by the way, one thing that I need to mention is that the elements, the metals that are making the uh, triple pyramid, the copper, the brass, the gold, they're all at fourth octave. So even if they were just crushed, 
somebody drove over your triple <laughs> with the truck, you could touch the gold in the because they're at high resonance. They're at fourth octave. Okay. Um, now, one last point here on oxygen. What we did is we put a divinity ring, the nine inch ones, I started with the fours, but the nines work better, obviously. Um, we put it on my oxygen and acetylene tanks, initially just on the oxygen tank. And I had a guy working for me and I asked him, could you let me know if you notice anything different? So I came in, I put the ring there and I left. And I came back about a half an hour later and I said, oh, did you notice any difference? And he goes, are you kidding? He says, I had to turn the oxygen way down. I says, well, how much? He said, oh, probably a third. I go, really? And he goes, yeah. And he says, and I'm using less solder and the weld is better. So, I, and if you go near it, the ozone's pretty harsh because it, 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 it's a, just a little guy. It doesn't cover much area. So it concentrates and there's not much air movement there. So it concentrates. So if you walk by there, you're going to get a shot of ozone. Mm -hmm. And if you get too close, you can tell it, it'll bite your lungs a bit, which is not good for you. You don't want that condition. So I put the um, divinity ring on the little ozone generator and you can walk by there and take a big gulp breath and it doesn't bother you. So your body can take that oxygen way easier. So, it does something to the oxygen. Now, if I'm going to charge, if I'm going to charge a glass of water, and I just use the triple pyramid, that's going to put in a really good charge, and it will oxygenate it. But if I put a divinity ring behind it, it's it's yeah, you can feel the difference. It's it's considerably better. So, and needs to say, if we use a a nine inch divinity, you can see the water is, it, it's stronger water. It's got more light in it, okay? So what I'm doing now in, in bed in the morning is I place the triple on one side and I place the divinity ring on the other. And what I noticed is that sometimes it will cause some spasming my legs are fine, they're sore from standing up and grinding and what have you, and they're sore, but they didn't spasm. I place the pyramid there, and within about a minute or less, they start spasming. Mild, it's not mm -hmm. critical or anything, but you can feel these little spasms going on. What I think it is, is it's resistance to the flow of na the natural flow of energy. So, the pyramid goes in there and after about five minutes or so it it it, it uh, releases the spasm because now the leg is now charged up and relaxed the muscles are more relaxed and the spasming goes away so i didn't have it and when i started and then it goes away when i'm done <laughs> but <laughs> that may be that may be uh something you run into so if you charge for example let's say you have a headache you can place it here like that and that'll get one effect but if you place it like that where your head's inside the chamber it's a different effect okay this may hurt or this may hurt and the other not so if you get some pain because when you add energy to the system and there's resistance there there's more buildup of, of energy because it's not flowing and during that time you can get more pain so can you overdo these absolutely I was trying to find the threshold yesterday, but I didn't quite get there. <laughs> but I've been doing this for 35 years. I've had other people come here and they come near this, near the pyramid, and they come about three feet away and they stop. And they go, I'm not going near that for just yet. So they'll take two, three, ten minutes before they even go in front of it. And then when they do, 20 seconds, several of them. 20 seconds and they're done that's their first download and they're done now you can come back 10 minutes later and do a minute mm -hmm. 
but the first download don't expect to stay, to to be there for all day it's not going to happen it will right. be like you drink way too much coffee <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen here so so uh, anything else that you want to mention quickly before you wrap things up um actually i'm at the last line of my sheet i'm done <laughs> how about that how about that so about so that? so now these all these tools that they're available on my website can they buy them from you also um i prefer not to because i am a one-man operation at this point growing way faster than than i would like to it's all wonderful but please don't call me okay we, we'll, I we'll have take care of that for you wayne pardon me we'll take care of that for you that is exactly why you're here. You, we are a team, and that's your department, not mine. Okay. So if there's inquiries, please send them to Chris or a dealer that's close to you. <laughs> but um, we highly recommend Chris, and uh, we're very comfortable here. Now, now, this is an interview I've been wanting to do for about 10 years, okay? And, <laughs> I mean, I mean our, our schedule, you're always running current. I'm doing other things. I got two small kids now. I'm in a bat. We got all kinds of things going on. And, and to me, today is a very special day, Wayne. Very special day. It, I totally agree. I've wanted to do this forever. And, and I don't do anything because my ego says that it is. If I can tune in and find out what Spirit says. And Spirit said today was the day. And I've been chomping at the bit like you for a long time. And in the last month, I can't wait. <laughs> I am so enthused over this because the potential for healing, you know what the beauty of this is? You get to heal yourself. You get to discover yourself. Now, how big a treasure is that? You get to learn about you. That, that, that's, that's huge. And, and, and for a lot of people, that's what we're looking for is, is, is that, that knowledge, that, that feeling, that, that thing that we're all looking for that we're missing. And it's, it's starting to come forward. The ascension process is bringing it all forward. Yes. Yeah. Well, like the masters say, know thyself. Know thyself. And exactly. This right. really helps you there. <laughs> so, so, so let's wrap, let's wrap it up. Any, any last all words? Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And uh, uh, happy, happy healing. Indeed. Indeed. This is Chris Kaler for True Quantum TV. We're out of here with we'll Toxin.